What's up, guys? Um, been a while since I made a video, but I'll make another one here. So it's been, man, it's, it's probably been like two years since I did a video on my 55. Um, just really, we did some work to it. And my dad did some work to it while I was working at that collision shop a little while last year and just didn't really have time to do anything on it. Um, so, uh, quick backstory. Um, my car was hit pretty hard early in its life and it did a real piss poor job fixing the frame. It's not even really fixed. Um, but I wanted to be able to keep my car a roller, uh, while we were doing some metal work on it. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to need a frame anyway. So I just bought a frame and there was some other stuff I wanted to do to it. Uh, and I had put new disc brake conversion and everything else on the original frame. So I uh, basically found another frame. Uh, there was a little bit of rust in it. So we fixed that, sandblasted it, painted it, um, and then got everything I needed to make this a roller, take this stuff off the original frame and then put stock stuff back on it to keep that one a roller. Um, so it's just been down in the bowl building here for yeah, like two years now, just sitting here. Um, and my dad hijacked my engine and trans for mock-up on his 32 Vicky for like a year or so. Um, and I kind of need it because I'm uh, converting it to uh, side engine mounts and everything. So, and a, a rear trans mount and everything. And I wanted to have that stuff all figured out. And because you got to tighten the bolts up uh, inside a spring pocket. And so I didn't want to put the suspension together and have to dick around with that. So, um, I'll, let me flip the phone around quick and I'll show you where we're at here. All right. So it's a little buried, but it's already sandblasted, painted, you know, ready for assembly. Uh, just threw the new rear in it. It's a 373, uh, just an open rear, 50, 57 rears as a drain plug in the bottom, uh, two inch drop lee springs, uh, new shackles, uh yeah so basically at this point what we're going to do is just get this a roller get the engine trans in it get all the brick lines and all that stuff made uh probably might as well just do the exhaust right away since uh i pretty much have all of it unless i uh decide to put headers on it then that's going to change everything um so once we get it out of here i'll uh and get it up in a garage i'll I don't know if I'll do it today, but uh, get the stuff dug out for the, all the new front suspension stuff and uh, show what all is going on. I think I did that in an earlier video, um, but it was so freaking long ago, I don't remember. So it was kind of giving an update of where, where I'm kind of at with the car. Um, and uh, yeah, so once we get it out, I'll start the video back up. All right, so things escalated a little more than I was planning for today. I was planning on priming this, but that's going to be tomorrow's job, I guess. So, got the frame up, um, and we just kind of went right into getting the side mounts done, and I'm going to have to get, I have to make a hardware list and um, get some new bolts and whatnot but uh so yeah so we in the old frame i had the the stand of the stock uh front mounts and i had i think it was dan chuck or whatever that had the uh kit to use the side mounts with like a turbo 350 turbo 400 um i didn't really care for the kit but um but once i knew i was going to be getting another frame I was like, screw it, I'm just going to go side mounts and the rear uh, trans mount. So, CCP mounts, the engine mounts, the rear cross member, um, CCP upper control arms with the five degrees of added caster, um, stock lowers, new ball joints, all new bushings, all that kind of shit. Um, I don't remember what company the, I think I, I think I said it when I was down in the pole building, but 
two inch uh, drop leaf springs. I kind of wanted to go with the uh, Posey Super Slides, the three inch, but I'm not totally sure how the car's going to sit. And I didn't want, I don't really want it level. And I definitely don't want it low in the back. So I was like, well, I'll go with the two inch uh, springs in the back. And if I need to, you know, once the springs kind of break in, uh, you know, if I got to, if they're still too high, I can always, you know, put a half inch block or, you know, wh whatever, whatever I need to get it, you know, set up the way I want. Uh, the front has, uh, I don't remember the company. It was Right Stuff Detailing, I think. Uh, disc brake kit, two inch uh, lowering kit with the spindles, disc brake, the whole, the whole shebang, uh, and inch and a half lowering springs, I think. One inch or inch and a half lowering springs uh, in the front. So that stuff's all new. Uh, so well, I got to. I guess I could get some hardware and replace some of the bolts uh, that we used to put the mounts in because we ended up using the ones for the engine mounts on the trans mount. Um, so once I get that all figured out and replaced, we can get the springs in, get the spindles and rotors on and all that kind of crap. Uh, and then basically start doing brake lines and stuff. I need to get a uh, rebuild kit for the steering box. Uh, I want to get that done. But I have all the uh, new emergency brake cables and here's the cables and the self-adjusting brake kits. All that kind of crap uh, for the back. So yeah, that's about, I think that's about it. Like, uh, you know, kind of performance, if you want to call it. <laughs> if you want to call it that. Uh, yeah, it's just lowering springs. Uh, get it down a little bit. The tires, uh, a friend gave me the uh, the wheels. They're uh, the intro wheels. They're like seven, 17 by 8s. Um, I had a, <laughs> a really hard time getting those tires on the car on with uh the original frame and stuff um, but the tires are kind of big they weren't uh i don't remember what he had them on they were on an a body i think a 68 i think the 68 uh f85 we built for him um and they look good on that but they're a little too big for this um so i've been kind of looking at other tri-5 guys or tri fives that uh car shows and stuff and uh, just trying to take note of the uh, tire sizes that they run uh, ones that you know seem to look pretty decent to me now, let me fit the flip the phone around here all right so yeah so that's, that's about where where we are with all this um, so I'm gonna work on that valiant tomorrow and uh, my dad will probably be working on this more than me, to be honest, because uh, that customer cars to work on, uh, and he's retired and he can he can noodle around on my stuff, <laughs> basically. Uh, kind of waiting. His car's a little bit on a uh, his uh, thirty two is a little bit on a or on a little bit of a hold for now. Uh, so we'll get this done. Hopefully. Uh, I'm hoping once the chassis is done, we'll just get my car over uh, before that Cobra comes back for paint. And that's probably going to be April, probably end of April, mid to end of April, maybe. If it can, we put the new tail pad in, in my car. Um, but all the metal work still needs to get kind of finished off and the body work got to get finished. And still needs some... Uh, uh, Finish welding here and there, uh, where you can't get to it with the, on the frame. So once the frame's done, I'll get the car over and get the body off the old frame. Uh, 
and that way it's not taking up two bays. That's really the biggest thing. Um, we'll get it on, get the body on the lift, uh, get the tail pan finished up on, on underneath. Uh, I still got rockers to put in it and some of the, fix some of the outer braces and stuff, but it's just, I don't got time. There's not enough room here to do it. And it's, I've had this car for 22 years, almost 22 years, and I've never driven it. So I'm getting, I'm kind of done with, <laughs> with waiting. So, uh, I don't, you know, this car is not a show car. Um, and it's, it's not horrible. It's just, you know, it just needs rockers. Um, uh, and the ends of the braces where it attaches to the inner rockers are, you know, soft. Um, but car ain't going to fall apart. So I'm like, I'm just, I'm just done with it. <laughs> so, uh, we'll get the car over, get the body off, uh, finish whatever welding needs to get done, get the bottom of the car, even just at the back, just get it primed and painted. Uh, and then the car's going on the frame. It ain't, it, it's a driver. And the frame's far enough away from the inner and outer rockers that I can do it. I can do that while it's on the car. Um, and if I feel like it down the road, it does, it is not much to take the bodies off of these chassis. So, uh, I could take the body off, put it on a rotisserie after the rockers and everything are in. Sandblast the bottom like I was planning on, paint the firewall, you know, sandblast the bottom, the firewall, and get the bottom of the car all done, uh, and put it back on the chassis. And then if I decide to do, I really don't want to paint the car. I just want to uh, spot it what needs to get done. Um, but that's that's my goal. Have this thing on the road and driving. Uh, I know the motor. It's been sitting around a little while, but uh, we had it in my dad's 55 actually for a short while. Um, when his, uh, his took a shit. Um, or no. We borrowed an engine from a friend around the corner to put in his 55 because the engine builder that had his 327 was dicking around and not getting it done. And the car's sitting there completely done without an engine. Uh, so, borrowed that. And it was kind of a junkyard motor. And uh, yeah, it it didn't like some uh, certain RPMs. So, uh, just to kind of finish out the year, we had this 305 that was sitting in the corner of the garage. Uh, came out of like an 84 Trans Am or something. Uh, so, we just put a cam in it, painted it. And put it in his car, and it was in there for like, a year, for like a year. And engine ran great. And since this is just a freaking cruiser, uh, I was like, it's plenty good enough for my car. And uh, we had a, we had bought a wrecked Monty SS years ago. Um, a high up with 305 and a 200 R4. Uh, and it was wrecked, so we really couldn't drive it. But I mean, went into gear and everything, and. So, um, fingers crossed, <laughs> the transmission works, you know, well enough that I can at least get through this year. Um, uh, if I have to rebuild it over the winter or something, you know, so be it. Um, I already have, I already put the TCI lockup, the converter lockup kit and everything in it. Um, so yeah, hopefully, as I said, the, the engine ran great in my dad's car. Hopefully the trans will at least last a year. That's all I want. <laughs> it's when we drive it this year, and I'll be happy. Uh, if it if it takes a shit in October, I don't care. Uh, I'll worry about it later. Uh, so yeah, that's that's um, that's where we're at. Um, once again, I'll get or my dad will get a little bit more uh, work done to it, uh, and then. Uh, I'll do another video or I'll just wait till, you know, till it's all done. I mean, it's not like I'm doing, uh, how to's or anything like that, or, you know, setting up the camera and 
everybody's watching me work. So, um, but yeah, as we get stuff done to it, I'll do some little update videos and, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be on the road today and I'll be driving or this year and I'll be driving it. So yeah, thanks for following along and see you guys on the next one.